Hello, I'm Tom Booker, Senior Instructor. Thank you for joining me. This skill tutorial is over the hook punch. This is a bit different from the straight punches that you are used to seeing. We don't see these nearly as, as often, but they are very important. Now, the way a hook punch works, I want my hand my elbow and my shoulder all on one level, with my hand turned palm in toward me. Now, just like a straight punch, I'm going to be striking with my forefist right here, these first two knuckles. I'm just bringing the hand back, bringing it across this way. I'm using a twist of my hips and shoulders, just across and through like this. Now, what's really important here is my elbow position. If I let my elbow drop, as I strike, I'll wind up hitting with the smaller, weaker end of my fist. I'm going to hurt myself. If I let it rise, I'll wind up striking with the main joint of my thumb here. Again, I'm going to hurt myself with this. So I want to be careful that I'm keeping everything lined up, fist, elbow, shoulder, and that I'm also keeping my wrist nice and straight, that I'm not bending inward as part of that hooking motion. I want this straight and stable. It means I'm going to need to be close to my target. Now let's try this together. Again, bring it back, gently twist and bring it Twist back, twist through just like this. This is much more a motion of your body than your arm. I am not flailing away with my arms here. It's a much more efficient motion. Crossing through here. Now let's add the other hand. Front hand, back hand, front hand, back hand front hand, and back hand, just like that. Let's have a look at this from the side. Set up here, front hand, and back hand, just like that. I want to be careful I'm not starting to lean forward into my punches and reaching out with the whole thing starts to come unstitched very, very quickly if I start doing that. If I'm going to use a hook punch, I need to be really close to my target. Here and here, just like that. Across and across. Let's have a look at it on the other side. Here and here. Again, just twist through. Twist. Just like that. It's actually nice and simple. All right, a little faster and harder. One, two, one, two, one, two. Again, it's not a real big motion of my arms. It looks a lot bigger than it really is. It doesn't need to be big to be powerful. Now, let's have a look at this actually done on a target. Let's hit something. Ms. Hill, can I have your assistance, please? Again, we're going to be using our blocker, our caveman club for this. It's a real good target for this particular strike. All right, Ms. Hill, could you uh, put your right foot, or the left foot out in front for us, please? And let's start just with your front hand. Just turn it all in this way. Now, Ms. Hill is going to start with her knuckles resting in on the blocker. She's going to pull back and just push through, touch and push. She's just finding it. And again, touch and push. She's making sure she's using her forefist, that she's keeping her wrist straight, and she's using that twist of her hips and shoulders. Now let's add the back hand. So pull back, front, and then come through with the back. Again, front and back. Once more, front and back. All right, let's go. 
deliver a faster and harder. Let's turn these into strikes. Good. 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 And good. Good. Now let's have a look at this from the other side. Now again, we're going to touch and push, just going to find our target, front end and then back. You're making sure you're using your four fist and that you're keeping your wrist nice and straight, that you're not having to lean to reach. Notice that this hill is very close indeed here. That's where a hook punch is most effective. All right, a little faster and harder if you would lose this hill. One flows into the next. Faster and harder yet. Good. Once more. Very good. Thank you, Ms. All right. The hook punch can take some working. Punching techniques are more complex than they typically look. It takes time and effort and practice to be able to do a punch correctly. That's certainly true of the hook punch. You're going to be creating a lot of power here. So you want to be sure that you're getting the technique correct, that you're putting that power through your four fist, you're keeping your wrist nice and straight so that you're not hurting yourself with your own punch. So take it slowly at first, Work it in the air, then touch and push on a target. Make sure you're using your four fist, you're keeping your wrist straight. Then start taking it a bit more aggressively with greater speed and greater power. But do be prepared to be patient as you work with this to develop this skill. Thank you very much for joining us.